Welcome to your bucket list fellow travelers and get ready to join us on an incredible journey to the enchanting land of Uzbekistan. From stunning architecture to rich history, we are about to explore it all together. Uzbekistan, a country nestled in the heart of Central Asia, is a true hidden gem waiting to be discovered. With its colorful bazaars, intricate mosques, and extremely friendly and welcoming Uzbeki people, this place has something for every traveler. Imagine walking through ancient Silk Road cities where history comes alive through every street and every market. From the bustling capital of Tashkent to the historical cities of Samarkand and Bukhara, we are about to embark on an adventure that will take us through time and culture. So, grab your virtual passport and let's uncover the magic of Uzbekistan. Our journey begins in Tashkent, the beating heart of Uzbekistan. This modern metropolis beautifully blends tradition with innovation. As we stroll through its wide avenues and parks, you'll notice a perfect mix of futuristic architecture and historical landmarks. You may not be aware, but one of the world's most beautiful fountain shows is here in Tashkent. Do not skip this video and watch it till the end for a bonus destination just outside Tashkent. We will take you to Chimgin Mountains that offer breathtaking views of the Chalmuk Lake. And put on your seat belts, dear friends. We are going on a crazy chair car ride which will leave you hanging on the edge of your seats. Just as we landed in Tashkent, we saw long queues at the immigration checkpoints with tourists from all over the world. A clear indication that Uzbekistan is becoming a hot tourist destination. We have exchanged $200 for more than two and a half million souls. Two and a half million. This really is the cheapest country in the world. We took a taxi for seven kilometers from our hotel to the Minor Mosque and it costed us just one dollar. Let's start exploring the vibrant city of Tashkent with a hidden gem that encapsulates the essence of modern Uzbekistan while also honoring its rich cultural heritage, the Minor Mosque. Minor Mosque is the latest tourist destination of Tashkent, which was constructed in 2014. Its marvelous white marble exterior with geometric patterns makes it a must-visit site. The mosque's interior is equally captivating. Now let's go to that Tashkent Tower. This is Tashkent TV Tower and we are going on the top and from the top we can see the entire Tashkent city. Uzbek people are so friendly. We'll show you throughout the video how friendly they are, how hospitable they are how warm and welcoming they are. This tower is the 12th tallest TV tower in the world. Just as we head towards the observation deck, we can see many replicas of the world's tallest towers. There is a small museum of antique radio sets and you can even shop for some souvenirs like the mini version of this tower or fridge magnets and many more. We also got a magnet from here which costed us less than a dollar. We took a lift to the 6th floor which is the observation deck. Standing atop this tower, the panoramic view it offers is simply breathtaking. Finishing our lunch, let's proceed to the Amir Timur Square. In the center of the square stands a monument that's straight out of history books. A bronze figure of Amir Timur on a majestic horse symbolizing his medieval empire that stretched across 27 countries. He is a legendary commander of the 14th century who founded the Timurland dynasty. And check this out. Surrounding the square are landmarks like the Uzbekistan Hotel, the Amir Timur Museum and the jaw-dropping Forums Palace where state and international events take place. As we step into the vibrant heart of Chorsu Bazaar, it's like diving headfirst into a swirling whirlpool of life. It is the largest market in Tashkent, yet it is not on the bucket list of most of the tourists. What's more fascinating is how the shopkeepers here treat us foreigners. It's like we are celebrities in a movie and they are eager hosts ready to roll out the red carpet. I mean, they probably think we are up for some epic deals especially when they are offering their exotic stuff like horse meat and dry fruits. You can literally smell it in the air. The aroma of dates, dried fruits, nuts and candies fills the atmosphere. 
practically screaming send Malaysia. But it's not just about shopping, it's also about the faces of the shoppers and shopkeepers. Men in takiyas, women draped in headscarves, each one is a walking, talking piece of local history. In Uzbekistan, there are two food items that every Uzbek is fond of, plov and non. Plov is akin to biryani, while non is a type of bread. My friends, this is the legacy of Uzbekistan. The breads that you see behind me, they are freshly made breads. And the way they put stamp on their fresh made bread, this is exactly Uzbekistan is going to click a stamp on your heart with your experience of this delicious bread. This is going to be fun. <laughs> this is my bread. <laughs> Let's see if our efforts to make the Chosu Bazaar was good enough or not. Let's add a touch of enchantment to our Tashkent adventure with a visit to the remarkable Magic City Park. Imagine strolling through streets that capture the essence of Paris, Barcelona, London and more, all without needing a plane ticket. Picture yourself exploring vibrant shops, sipping coffee in cozy cafes and having a feast at the incredible restaurant. And to top it all off, there's an amazing fountain show here as well. Just enjoy it. The attendant directed us to stand on the spot marked with a pair of feet on the ground and instructed us to jump onto the chair car when it gently pushed us from behind. I won't lie, just hearing this made our hearts race with fear. But there was no turning back now. The adventure begins now. When you think of Uzbekistan, mountains might not be the first thing that comes to your mind, right? This is the most awaited moment of this video. We are taking you on a fantastic day trip to the Chimgan Mountains just outside Tashkent. Only 120 kilometers away from Tashkent, this place is the favorite destination for locals for a weekend getaway. We arrived at the Cheka lift point with so much excitement as we eagerly purchased our tickets priced at 25,000 Uzbek songs, only two and half dollars per person. We are on the top of Chimian Mountains and the view is spectacular. Can you see a water body in the distance? That is the Charwak Lake. After spending about 30 minutes on the top, we were set for the downward journey on the same chair car. As you can guess, it was equally exciting. Once we reached the bottom, we started our journey towards the Charwak Lake. After about 20 minutes of ride, we reached there. Hold on to your excitement for the Chervak Lake, the absolute highlight of this day trip. Just as we arrived, we were greeted by the thrilling sight of paragliders launching themselves from the hilltop. As we walked towards the cliff's edge, our eyes were met with a sight that words failed to capture. 
If you plan to go for paragliding, it will set you off by just $65 per person. That's cheap. We spent a blissful hour on the top, absorbing the calmness in the view. The view was amazing. You won't believe what's up next on our Tashkent adventure, the incredible city park. It's a place where fountains turn into magical dancers, painting the sky with colors and music. But here's the thing, it's not just fountains. This park is a hub of activity that's perfect for families, friends and anyone seeking a touch of nature's beauty in the heart of the city. The best part, it's open from morning till night so you can soak in the magic no matter when you visit. We reached here at night. Next day, we set out for an early morning walk and we saw the most beautiful part of Tashkent that only locals get to enjoy. Probably no tourist comes across this walking path along the river. The water was extremely clear. Relaxing sound of water makes you walk miles without stopping. Some people were even taking bath in it. During our morning walk, we reached the Independence Square. It's an arcway with the huge Arc of Independence. You can also see on the arc sculptures of white stork, which is the national bird of Uzbekistan. Right at the center of this vibrant square is a bronze ball, which depicts the globe with the Republic of Uzbekistan written on it. To the north lies a park that boasts the alley of fame and memory. Here you can see the names of 400,000 fallen heroes who sacrificed their lives during the World War II. With the eternal flame and the grieving mother statue, it's an emotional testament to their sacrifice. Can you feel excitement in the air? We're at the Tashkent Railway Station and ready to hop on a train which will lead us to none other than the legendary city of Samarkand. This adventure is bound to take us back in time and fill our hearts with awe.